This video has been classified as M. It is recommended for people aged 15 years and over. The following program was created in seven days. The story, characters, and dialogue were developed by our audience. It may contain traces of nuts. Three teens, one haunted room, and five minutes to get an exercise. The prize for the winning team, an all expenses paid trip to Hawaii. This is Get Out of My House. Welcome to the special spooky finale of Get Out of My House. Introducing the Catholics. The Ghost Hunters. The Astral Projectionists. Okay, teams. Tonight's challenge is Exorcism 101. A haunted room needs to get cleared. So, let's meet the owner of this spooky room, Molly. Our host Sam sits down with the house owner, Molly, to get into the nitty gritty of just how spooky this room really is. So Molly, the last few months for you have been so fucked. So tell us about this haunted room. When did all this spookiness start? I was just cooking my dinner and um, I heard this noise upstairs, like a thud in the middle bedroom. Oh my God, that is so spooky. And I went upstairs to see what was going on. So in the middle bedroom upstairs, and I got up there, there's nothing. So I saw the window was open, so I went over to close the window. And uh, there was this face reflected in the window, so I turned around, nothing there. And then there was this very soft voice whispered in my ear, in this ear, ear. At least he said, please. Now that's what I call a bad tenant. With Molly on the verge of a mental and spiritual breakdown, the stakes are high for the teams to get the ghost out of the house and onto the street where it belongs. Molly, we're about to give this pesky poltergeist one heck of an eviction notice. Catholics, you're up! Please just be careful. There are many ghosts. I've seen many. Spooky. So, what's your strategy? We got Bibles, rosaries, candles, prayers. Bit of faith. Bit of faith. Risky, but good. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Great. He's the man. Yeah, totally. Yeah, big man. man. Big man. Son of God. Big bearded man. All right. Let's go. Father Bill and Father O'Reilly are some of the most renowned exorcists in the biz, with more than 40 clearances to their name. But they've also lived together for 10 years, which is starting to take its toll. Holy water. What? Oh, holy water. No, you got the holy water. I didn't bring the holy water. No, that we agreed that you would bring the holy water. Why am I the holder of the holy water? Because I brought the crosses. <laughs> And then that's when I realized he was wearing my deodorant. Right, okay, to be fair, yes, it's his deodorant, but good reason, took me grocery money the other week. It's my deodorant. It's, it's a roll-on, it's not even a spray. Come on, it's a lovely scent. It's my deodorant. I know, but you always wear it. What if I want to wear it? At least if I can do is ask me. Share it around. Penance won't be a prayer. It's missing out on a trip to Hawaii. Well, it seems like faith just is never enough. The Catholics are out of the picture. So it's over to you, the astral projectionist. What's your plan? 
Uh, we're going to bring ourselves into a meditative trance that's going to allow us to actually step out of our bodies and go from being in a physical form to being within the spiritual realm. Interesting. Yeah, and once we're in the spiritual realm, then we'll be able to take the entity on. OK, and what's your strategy? We're going to bash the shit out of it. Namaste. Well, it sounds like you guys have a plan. And let's hope it works, because that spirit is getting more powerful and glorious by the minute. Not only is it taken over the whole room just five minutes ago, it took Molly. Abandon all hope. Her soul is ours. Whoa. Looks like it's getting pretty crowded in there. Um, for the sake of Molly's soul, let's hope somebody wins the challenge. Good luck, guys. Astral projection is widely regarded as the most difficult of the ghost sciences to master. Yeah. These three have been practicing the art for just six months, making them amongst the most experienced in the industry. They told me to hold the line. Oh, oh fuck, oh. fuck. It's a soldier. That's a soldier. Okay. Um, so we're going to in the body now. We're going to do it together. Okay. Um, 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 no. No. So our spirits have left our bodies and we're face to face with the ghost who happens to be a soldier with an open head wound. Thanks yes. for the f heads up. Um, and the Milky Bar kid forgot to bring the crystals with us. So we're stuck here as ghosts. That's, that's what's happened. I can't even see my son's dance recital tonight. Sorry, guys. Hawaiian Airways doesn't operate on the realm you now exist on. It's over to the Ghost Hunters to see if they can live up to their names and win a trip to Hawaii in the process. With the astral projectionists and the Catholics out of the picture, it's now up to the Ghost Hunters. So what's your plan? I mean, we are talking one cranky ghost. Supersonic sound. Yeah, that could work. Demons can't stand them. F the ghost brain right off. Very clever. He'll be begging us for mercy before he knows it. The ghost hunters claim to have successfully captured more than 25 ghosts, but they've never come up against an actual ghost. Let's see how they go. Looks like Edna, that's something else. That, um... What's this? What's this over here? No, that's just the horse. Simone forgot the batteries, and not for the first time. Mike and I are looking at each other like, dude, this is so f***ing embarrassing. It's ridiculous. If it was up for me, women would not be ghost hunting. Mistakes were made. Let's move on to the next spectre, and let's do our ghost bed. I don't make mistakes. Okay, no. The ghost hunters might be hunting some tissues because they've just missed out on a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> With all the teams failing the challenge, it looks like these evil spirits are here to stay. Now, as is custom, when the exorcism fails, the trip to Hawaii goes to... the ghosts. And on next week's episode, we exercise Molly. Fucking yuck, Molly. And don't forget, adults only. And remember to watch. Get out of my house! If you think a ghost or evil being might be invading your home or body, or you have a complaint to make about the host of our show, please contact our producers on 555 Get Out of My House.